friends, welcome back to the farm. It's asparagus season. We've been uh, getting asparagus in for about a week now. We're gonna start farmer's markets this week, so that's a really exciting time. Um, we're picking strawberries. Here's the flat I was just sorting. They're so pretty. How big it is. Yeah, it's like a strawberry and a half. But we have regular ones too. But today we're gonna plant peppers. Yes. Yes, we're gonna go plant peppers. And we're gonna see if my leg will last on the tractor. I did it for like, what, an hour yesterday and I was fine. So um, they gave me, a, I talked to the doctor and they suggested a different kind of brace and we're gonna go out and plant. There's our duckies still just hanging out. They don't really go to the pond. All right, duckies. I have some bread. We'll see. It's funny, they, they come to you then when you, um walk closer to them then they walk away we've had ducks in the past where you could just like they you could pick them up i don't know these ones are a little being a little silly with us let's see if they're eating bread then i gotta get running here ducks oh yeah i think they will eat anything and apparently since they're walking all over maybe they're not gonna eat the bread since they're walking all over they um were kind of in my backyard doing that at uh six o'clock this morning so they, Mike said they were looking for me, my little duck friends. Okay, all right, girls. I say girls because if you don't know, well, they're not really all girls, but they kind of are now. <laughs> Those of you that uh, saw, I know Frankie is uh, had the band on, and I know that was a thing. Look, taco shells. Anita and I made tacos for our family, so we'll see if they. Eat. Are they uh, fans of the taco shell? Do we have Mexican goats? Yes, Jackie likes the taco shell. And I got a bag for the pigs, so. And he and I meet. Because it was uh, Cinco de Mayo, and we had did a lot for that benefit. Like, I didn't even eat a taco that night. But then Anita and I were like, let's make tacos. So she did all the meat. And then I went out and bought the shells. And we had the fixings for the tacos. And Pop is not a fan of tacos. He's like, what's this? <laughs> Looks like our goats are uh, enjoying their bread. My mom divided these up for me. Went through our bread drawer. <laughs> and, uh... We don't eat a lot of bread, but I, like I ate a bagel on the way to take and cot school and that's what I'll eat and then probably won't eat anything else till dinner. Oh, and this was pretty cool. These were the uh, dishes. I bought some of them for the benefit, so I ran out and bought more for us to try. All right, let's go. Uh, what are you doing? Hmm? Did they not share in with you? Ah. Oh. I put a picture on Facebook yesterday. I shared my bagel with these girls. Porky, it's finally drying out over here, huh? All right, do you think these two are going to like uh, taco shells? These pigs will eat anything. Uh, no, that's a lie because, I don't know, they, they sometimes eat eggplant last year, but sometimes they didn't. They ate kale, they ate collards. Whoops. Sorry there, Porky. And the bread that I'm throwing them, it's actually still soft. It's it's still good. But um, like I said, we just don't eat a lot of bread. And it's not moldy. We wouldn't give them moldy bread. And it's something like sometimes I'll send Colleen out. And there's a little snack for them with bread. And I, I mean, it's edible. But I'm always a little nervous because she can't eat bread on her diet. But she she does well. Only one time, like years ago, she ate some bread. And with her diet, you can't eat anything that's not part of her meal. And I had to run in and give her some mayonnaise to counteract the bread that she ate. Because if she had a piece of bread, it would be... Uh, yeah, look, this is dropped. That would be how much bread, minus the lens cap, that Colleen would eat. Maybe a little bit more, but I kid you not, like that would be her carb. Jess, what's today? 
Pepper planting day. Pepper planting day. Woo, look at all these peppers. So what's on this cart, Jess? We have bells, collar bells. There's a little bit of Marconi back there. Lots of Italian long arms. And then in the back of the truck, we have lots of hot pepper varieties and still more that aren't ready. So we have more planning to do. Jess and Zach pulled all these out. Do you want to introduce Zach here, Jess? This is Zach. He's hey, Zach. Fiance. This is Jess's fiance. You excited to help us out at the farm this summer, Zach? Pretty good. Yeah. Not too bad jobs. It's be a good one. Or when it's time to go back to college, he'll be saying, I can't wait to go back to school. Uh, <laughs> well, Zach helped pull all this out. He's going to get a taste of planting here at the farm. I've never actually gotten to use the planter yet. Oh, well, I guess the two of you. I just, I just seen how it works, but that's about it. Oh, it's your lucky day. I fixed it, though. Fixed just, it. just hooked the watering up, so we're wetting everything in really good and then they get watered as they're on the planter too so got the ford ready to go with the planter on the back anita is finishing up tilling the back so we can get planning well wow, it's it's so hot you can see the steam coming off the truck or is something on fire that's the question yeah it's toasty so yep so let's get the popping popping planting and picking before you know it we are here behind the stand behind the pond there's the porta potty and anita you can see where the tractor is all the way down there is the end of the row she's coming down like so that's where the tomatoes are planted so this front section is going to be peppers which will be nice for our pepper festival because people enjoyed walking out and looking at the peppers and seeing how they grow. So this field will soon be peppers. You ready, Zach? Bumblebees. I'm assuming you're all right. All right. Just, just uh, use the outhouse. That's what we tell people. And last week, what did Aunt and Uncle Steve find there? Uh, giant black snake, wasn't it? Oh gosh, I just told Zach I haven't seen any black snakes yet, and I hope I can keep it that way. Is that what you saw yesterday? No, it was a little baby tiny gardener snake. Oh, That's no. all right, I don't see black snakes either. Anita went out and started on a tomato row, ro rolling over the tomato row so that we can plant tomato rolls <laughs> rolling over the tomato row wow I get some speech therapy going for myself so that um we can plant and the rows will match up on this side so that's what she's doing now so when you look at the field you're going to see peppers the next area is tomatoes with a row in between for um riding down and uh picking it always helps out to have a nice row like that all right, so we got to walk up there with our peppers, guys. Jess, Zach, and I already got to jump on pulling everything out of the four packs. So they're ready for the planter. I just pulled out the next variety that we're going to plant. And, of course, we label each row. Um, that way, yeah, bells, you can tell they're bells. But um, when it, someone comes to the farm, they're pretty interested in what we're growing and they may not know what a bell plant looks like. So if they're here early on, they may not know. So we just decided to label everything. Then we're going to go on to some Marconi's. is a sweet pepper but has the color of a bell. And then we're going to jump back to some colored bells. And the reason I'm doing that, everything has a reason because we have this plant that is not marked at all. Um actually there's a little pepper coming up in here we're thinking they're colored bells but what i'd like to do is put them in the back of the color bells because then from the color bells we're jumping right onto our italian long hot to jump it into hots so that way if it is a hot pepper it'll look like we know what we were doing <laughs> every year this happens i don't know but they're coming up on the planner we'll see what they're doing it's, these two are both new Just when it comes around, just throw it above. Yeah. Like that? 
Yep. Okay. <clears throat> so it's a little crazy ride. Yeah, you get a little water on your back. A little wild ride. Zach, just take a handful of bells and put them on that tray, Zach. Like the other side where the bells are. Now what Jess is holding here is the marker. And that is what allows Anita to even up her rows. So, oh, I'll put this <laughs> marker down. If these hooks got more than more, hold that when you're ready. And you gotta yell really loud if you have an issue. Do you realize that, Jess? Yeah, because I don't know what I'm doing. It gets stuck. You ready? No. Well, wait, let me, what do you got here? <laughs> oh, if it, like that? Yeah. The, the ball sits in there, and then when it goes in, it plants it. Yeah. If it, if you get stuck, see that wheel there? You got to give that a spin with your foot. I didn't know that. It didn't get stuck at all yesterday. No, what if this part gets caught now? I just shovel it Tell her to stop, it. though. Yeah. It should be good. All right, go ahead. Hold the all right. marker with your foot. I think I got it. Old school. Look at her go. Mm -hmm. So that's marking out the row. Then when Anita comes back, she's going to know like not for spacing. So we have one more variety. Everything is empty. Well, except for these. Very small. They were cayennes. We're going to get our anything that's missing with them. So we have one last Jimmy Nardello, one of my favorite peppers, and my buddy Dr. Jeans, too, at Jefferson. Anybody that I tell about these peppers, they try them, they love them. And I still have some in the freezer from last year. So this is it, Zach. Last of the peppers. So we have this field is now our pepper field. Um, you can see the stakes in there. And what we'll do for uh, Pepper Fest, you can see where Zach's walking. He's actually over two rows, so we still have two more rows past then. Because Anita's coming back around with the tractor. So, here we are, our peppers for Pepper Fest. We'll dress up this field a little bit, put some fancy signs out, maybe put some Scoville units here. That could all be a dream, because once we get busy, who knows what we can do. I'm not allowed to sing, but I can I do that? All right. Stop. Push it. Thank you, Jess. That's the job I don't enjoy. Oh, watch your toes. Zach, how'd you enjoy your first day? Pretty good. What's it like to work with the future family? <laughs> Does that scare you at all? You try not to mess up a little bit more than you would on <laughs> oh, your first job. That's great. Wow. <laughs> oh, I like this guy. And what did he say to you earlier, Jess? Like, you guys working tomorrow? <laughs> so I said, yeah, and asked if he was going to work. And he said, yeah, I just get in the truck when you tell me. <laughs> yeah, that's great. All right, so we're done Thanks, planting. Thanks, friends, for watching. Hit like, leave us nice comments. Yeah, one comment should be, would you want to work with your future mother-in-law? <laughs> but if it was me, I think that would be awesome. <laughs> oh, I saw that. I turned my head for a moment. All right. Have a great day, guys. Bye, friends.